Very, very happy. Um, reflects uh, a lot of hard work in 21, where we had two real strategic priorities. The first was positioning uh, the company for the, the enormous lifelong learning opportunity, and secondly, to deliver strong financial results. And with that 8% sales growth and 33% year-over-year profit growth, um, as you say, beating our consensus number, we're, we're, we're very satisfied with uh, the progress we made in 21. The, the sales in the higher education space down 5% for the full year, 6% um, decline in US higher education courseware. This particular business line has continued to be a bit of a drag in the numbers. How is it going trying to fix these figures? Um, the, the US higher ed numbers, we actually had a very good Q4. We saw growth in Q4. It, it was very choppy over the last four months as we reflected in, in Q3. And it's worth remembering that our US higher ed, it's like the 80-20 rule. Um, it delivers about 20% of the company's profit. Our uh, assessment and qualifications business, as, as you mentioned, is now delivering over 50% of the group's profit. Um, yet higher ed gets uh, about 80% of, 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 of the, the noise around, around the company. And, and I think it's worth looking at the, the breadth of the offering and the breadth of the assets and businesses that Pearson has that is really positioned, as I said, to deliver against a lifelong learning opportunity. You know, even the, even the, the, the notion of what is higher education going forward is broadening. A lot of that growth in assessments and qualifications came from people in the workforce who were taking certifications and reskilling and upskilling and gaining a different form of higher education. So we need to think about higher education beyond the institution.